Hello friends, my name is Pritam Negi and I welcome you all to my channel. This is my third video on how to import non-native 3D geometry in PTC Creo environment. I will be taking an example with another use case scenario. So let's get started. Click on open. Desktop. All file. Tool base import. This time the use template is not enabled because maybe you already was working with the file. Here we can see we don't have any datum plane and uh, we only have imported feature which is a kind of uh, submission of all feature in a complicated geometry. Now obviously this one is pretty easy and uh, after we imported this feature we started working on it by making and modifying the current geometry. Let's add chamfer to it in all corners and uh, round here. After working we realize okay but we don't have any datum plane. Now what would be the best way to create a datum plane? Hmm. Let's do it manually. So one way is to give reference. Okay, we can create datum plane like this, but where these datum plane exist? These datum plane exist here, which is of no use for us. In case we want to use these things, you know, because this datum plane is created later on, which shows that we cannot use the datum plane as a reference for these particular features. So what would be the best way? Just pause all the features and go here. Now select your coordinate system and click on plane. And you can see immediately the software itself create three datum planes for us. And which is awesome. Now we can go back and resume all the parts. Now we have got all the datum plane and we can now work normally. This method should be the least preferred method I would say only in case when we have already imported our geometry and we want to create three datum planes. Now why I am saying this like this should be the least preferred because here you can see though we have created the three datum plane but we do not have the views. So maybe we need to create them manually but at least we have three data templates, right? This this was our main motto. So if you don't know how to import the IGS geometry properly, and I have already explained the two good method in my previous videos. If you did not check them out yet, I will suggest you to go and check them out. And I will also keeping the link in right hand corner, also in description down below. I hope guys I may able to explain you how we can add three datum planes to already imported geometry. If yes then consider like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye.